Wednesday, April 22nd. Please go follow NFDL Seniors 2020 on Instagram to congratulate the seniors on their future plans. And now let's go to the weather with Serena. Hey guys, welcome back to your Oriole weather. Today there's a high 47 with a low of 38, and tomorrow there's a high 46 with a low of 36. Today's national day is National Earth Day. That's all I have from your Oriole weather. Back to Hattie in the studio. Shout out to Steph Hernandez on completing her Serve Safe Food Handler Certificate. We are proud of you. And then FLC yearbooks are due by Order forms are due by April 27th. Please order them at quickandsmartphoto.com. And now let's go to tea time with Becca and Caitlin. Hey guys, welcome back to your cup of Tuesday or Wednesday tea. On the latest episode of Miley Cyrus's Instagram Live talk show, Bright Minded Live with Miley, she took the opportunity to reconnect with an old castmate, Emily Osment, also known as Lily Trescott from Hannah, Montana. Miley introduced Osment as her badass best friend, and the pair proceeded to roast their old outfits and photos they had of themselves from the time on the classic Disney Channel series. Miley's show will continue Monday through Friday with a series of other special guests, and we can't wait to see who she brings on next. Hey guys, Olive Garden is offering to create prom pics for you and your date, or even your friends. All you have to do is send pictures of yourself in prom attire and ask your date or friends to do the same. Then they will put you in a backdrop with either traditional themes or a theme of breadsticks, walls, and mint garlands. To do this, you have to send your pictures to Olive Garden using the hashtag Olive Garden Prom on Twitter or Instagram. That's it from your Wednesday cup of tea. We'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Class of 2020, please check your emails for a survey and complete that ASAP. That determines what will be announced when you walk across the stage at graduation. And now let's go to the joke of the day with Mr. Forsyth. Hey everybody. So I had to go to the doctor the other day because I didn't know what to do. Every day my wife was seeming to lose her temper for no reason at all. And it was actually starting to scare me. So I told the doctor, and he said, I have a cure for that. When it seems like your wife is getting angry, just take a glass of water and start swishing it in your mouth. Just swish, swish, swish. But don't swallow it until after she either leaves the room or calms down. So I went home, and I tried it. And two weeks later, I went back to the doctor feeling better than ever. I said, doctor, that was a brilliant idea. Every time my wife started losing it, I swished with water. Swish, 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 swish. And she calmed right down. How does a glass of water do that, I asked him. And he responded, the water itself does nothing. It's keeping your mouth shut that does the trick. Have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Forsyth, and senior shirts are available to order on oreooutfitters.com, but are only available till April 26th, so go order those shirts ASAP. And now, wait, before I go to somewhere else, seniors, please check your emails from Mr. Rasmussen. There's some pretty important stuff you need to fill out. Keep sending safer at-home pics with your pet. You can send them at remotelearning at nfdlschools.org. And now let's go to a segment with Ms. Gaywell about mental health. Hello, Oriole Nation. April is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we figured everyone's mental wellness has been challenged lately. Most recently with the news of school closing through the rest of the school year. This pandemic um, provokes anxiety, stress, and sadness for all people. It is also a time of sorrow. We are all grieving something, the loss of what we planned for and were expecting to happen. This could be graduation festivities, prom, seeing our friends, family trips, or summer events. 
um, missed college and job opportunities, financial and employment changes at home, or even the shaken faith in our society's systems in healthcare, government, or education. Here are a few things that um, we want you to know about grief. Grief has no timetable. Grief isn't, shouldn't be compared. My grief is not better or worse than your grief. My loss is not more important or less important than yours. Um, we should not compare ourselves to anyone else. We should know our own grief, name it, claim it, own it. It helps to write about it, write your personal strengths and your coping skills. Most of us have never been through anything like this before, but we have been through challenges. How did you heal with it will help you move through this piece of your life. Social connections are so important. Staying connected through social media, or through phone calls, checking in with people are really powerful and influence our brain and how we look at things. So share your strength, find ways to laugh with those around you every day. And remember, it's okay to be sad. Give yourself permission to be sad about the things that you're missing right now. With all of these uncertainties, I wanna leave you with a little bit of hope. Our connections and our mind shape our ability to heal through resiliency. And through this time, we've been able to find or know a lot more about ourselves. The gifts that we can take away from this time is spending that little bit of extra time with our family before leaving for college. Slowing down and doing the things that you used to love and never have time to do anymore. Finding the value in knowing that the hallways in school are important to you. Learning from all of these tough scenarios and situations and showing how you've succeeded will also help you instill the value of community and lifts us up during tough times. You have learned through all of this that no moment is too big or too little for a celebration. So through this, all, we are all very proud of you and cannot wait to see you soon. Thanks, Ms. Gable. If your child has a birthday coming up and they are the ages from three to 10 and live in Van Dyne, Black Wolf, or Friendship, send the NFDL School's Facebook page a message of your address, phone number, and child's name. I hope everyone has a great day and we will see you back on Friday. Bye, everyone. Thank you.